Hi, I'm Kara Van Hoos, and it's time for your look inside sports. The Florida Gators have the odds stacked against them this weekend. UF travels to top-ranked LSU in Baton Rouge. The Tigers are coming off a big 35-7 win over Kentucky, as you can see there, while Florida is trying to regroup after Alabama just beat them up 38-10. LSU runs a sophisticated offense behind the Mad Hatter, Les Miles, but Gator defensive coordinator Dan Quinn says he's got them figured out. They do a good job of changing packages, you know, in terms of they'll go and play two tight ends and two backs and one receiver, and then they'll shift into, you know, where they'll play three wides and a tight end. So they do a good job of, you know, kind of mixing the personnel groups more so than just staying in the same group and lulling you. More bad news for UF. Senior LSU quarterback Jordan Jefferson will be back for this game. That's him right there. He's returning from suspension for the first half of the season. After just one season in the Big East, TCU may be on the move. The Big 12 commissioners met today to invite the Texas school to join their conference. ESPN reports TCU's Board of Trustees is meeting later today to discuss jumping to the Big 12. Sources say the school is expected to accept the invitation. And how could you forget about baseball? Exciting postseason going on right now. In the American League, the Rangers are awaiting the winner of the Tigers-Yankees series. Detroit and New York are playing tonight for a spot in the AL Championship Series. The Yankees are starting ace Yvonne Nova, who's at 16-4 this season. The Tigers will pitch Doug Fister with an 11-13 record on the mound. That game starts at 8. And over in the National League, plenty of action tomorrow night with two Game 5s. Arizona overcame a 2-0 deficit to force this Game 5 against Milwaukee. And the Cardinals and the Phillies are also battling in, the, in a decisive Game 5. Again, both of those matchups are tomorrow night. And finally, Monday Night Football will never sound the same. ESPN has parted ways with MNF's theme song star Hank Williams Jr. The familiar Are You Ready For Some Football will no longer be the intro to Monday Night Football. The firing comes after some controversial comments from Williams. The country singer used an analogy to Adolf Hitler when talking about President Obama. Williams has apologized for his comments, saying they were misunderstood. ESPN and Williams had worked together for more than 20 years. Can I just say how disappointed I am? I know he said some controversial things, but he was the face of MNF. No? I know. It's unbelievable. Air is coming to an end. But I've got my fingers crossed that they'll bring back the and twins guy. Do you guys oh, that, remember this? How could you not? <laughs> really? Do, do your best Ann Twins impression. No, I'm, I, I'll hold back. Oh, <laughs> so sorry, Trent. Next time. <laughs> Next time. All right. Thanks so much, Kara. Coming up after the break, we'll take a look at our WRUF 6 forecast.